Hello, dear friends. Welcome back. Uh, coming to the the second part, that is the fungal insecticide. Fungal pesticides, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency (EPA), bio pesticides are naturally occurring substances, that is, the biochemical pesticides that control pests, microorganisms that control the pests, that is, the microbial pesticides and the pesticidal substances that are produced by the plants containing uh, added to genetic material and the plant incorporated protectants. Biopesticides are biochemical pesticides that are naturally occurring substances that control pests by non-toxic mechanisms. Conventional pesticides by contrast are generally synthetic materials that directly kill or inactivate the pests. Biopesticides are considered eco-friendly and easy to use. In US, the EPA regulates the registration and, uh, you, uh, and use of earth-friendly biopesticides. Advantages of using biopesticides. Biopesticides are usually inherently less toxic than conventional pesticides. Biopesticides generally affect only the target pest and closely related organisms. In contrast to broad spectrum, conventional pesticides that may affect organisms as a different as birds, insects and mammals. Biopesticides generally affect only the target pests and closely related microorganisms. In contrast to broad spectrum, conventional pesticides that may affect organisms as a different as birds, insects and mammals. Biopesticides often are effective in very small quantities and often decompose quickly, thereby resulting in lower exposures and largely avoiding the pollution problems caused by con conventional pesticides. When used as a component of integrated pest management programs, biopesticides can greatly decrease the use of conventional pesticides, while crop yields remain high. To use biopesticides effectively, however, users need to know a great deal about managing pests. Biopesticides fall into three major classes. Microbial or biological pesticides may consist of bacteria, entomopathogenic fungi or viruses and sometimes includes the metabolites that bacteria or fungi can produce. Entomopathogenic nematodes are also often classed as microbial pesticides even though they are multicellular. And this table column shows the selected list of common insects along with the major crops damaged by them. The common pests are cotton bollworm, cotton leafworm, tobacco hornworm, European corn borer, locust, tobacco budworm, cowpea seed beetles. And uh, these are the biological names for all the insects. And uh, these are the crop plants which are affected by the respective insects. The, the cabbage worm eats holes in the leaves of your cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower and other brassicas. It only devours the foliage of vegetable crops and the weeds in the cabbage family. It is a brassicaceae. Brassicaceae. It does not move by looping like an inchworm. It crawls about like most other kinds of caterpillar. The grayish brown moth with a white monogram on its four wings, the cabbage looper adult flies about and lays her eggs at night. So you usually won't see her. The moth like the butterfly has straw like mouth part. Here you can able to see the cabbage looper, the another caterpillar that trashes the brassica family. 
and this slide shows the life cycle of the insect the, the life cycle varies with the host and temperature the average life cycle is approximately 21 days in warm conditions but can be as short as 15 days thus populations can increase rapidly within a short span of time and it deteriorates the agricultural the trichoderma viridae this is a fungus which are widely used as a fungus insecticide or biopesticide which belongs to uh, the kingdom fungi phylum ascomycota class um, soralariomycosis Sur sub uh, subclass hypocreomycetidae order hypocereales family hypocreasy genus trichoderma and species viridae it is also can be called as the green mold disease of mushroom while culture it appears to be green in color trichoderma is a mold that can infect the mycelium and the fruiting bodies of other fungi trichoderma viridae is a mold which produces spores asexually by mitosis it is the anamorph of a uh, hypocrea rufa it's a telomere which is a sexual reproductive stage of the fungus and uh, produces typical fungal fruiting body the mycelium trichoderma viridae can produce a variety of enzymes including cellulase and chitinases which can degrade the cellulosic cell wall and chitin cell wall respectively the mold can cause the mold can grow directly on the wood which is mostly composed of cellulose and on fungi the cell walls of which are mainly composed of chitin it parasites the mycelia and the fruiting bodies of other fungi including cultivated mushrooms and it has been called green mold disease of mushrooms the affected mushrooms are distorted and uh, unattractive in appearance and the crop is reduced trichoderma viridae is a fungus showing some benefits in use in the environment and hence it is also used as a biofungicide though it is a pathogen causing green mold rot in onion it is used for various seed and oil treatment for suppression of various diseases caused by fungal pathogens they have evolved numerous mechanisms for both attack of other fungi and for enhancing plant root plant and root growth such as mycoparasitism antibiosis competition for nutrients or space tolerance to stress through enhanced root and plant development solubilization and sequestration of inorganic nutrients induced resistance inactivation of the pathogens enzymes by secreting certain plant growth stimulating substances the mechanism of action of trichoderma uh, species as a biopesticide the utilization of uh, trichoderma species as a biopesticide emphasizing its properties like biological pesticides its way of variable action depending on the species and the conditions being as antibiosis mycoparasitism competition and hypovirulence hypovirulence okay this picture shows the trichoderma and the other fungus where that other fungus or get inhibited okay here you can you can able to see the green mold trichoderma viridae this uh, okay the pathogenic fungus pathogenic fungus and uh, here you can able to see the inhibition of pathogenic fungus by the trichoderma okay by means of the secretion of the specific enzymes like uh, cellulases and uh, chitinases which inhibits the growth of the pathogenic fungus 
while uh, during the path, uh, during the interaction the first step is penetration once trichoderma species has recognized uh, all pathogenic rats it and uh, adheres to the ipa covering it totally the ipa of the trichoderma penetrate in those of the pathogen swelling them and uh, producing hostoria at the same time that uh, causes the disorganization of the cell content next to penetration is degradation the final step is the degradation of the cell wall of the mushroom plants pathogen through the production of uh, and excretion of the specific enzymes after degradation disintegration some results that support this hypothesis have shown that trichoderma produces a series of substances that gives rise to the separation of the cell wall of the guest in the points of interaction with the antagonist at the same time causing their fast disintegration how antibiosis takes place this occurs when there is a production of metabolites uh, toxic or antibiotic substances of an agency with direct action on another nevertheless for this mushroom particularly the production of metabolites is hardly connected with the production of own enzymes of the process of microparasitism on the other hand it is well established that the enzymes hydrolytic of the cell wall has an effect synergistic with the antibiotics being the action of antifungal of both composed uh, very superior to that of any of them by separated some of the species of trichoderma species uh, they are characterized by pen, uh, presenting a high origin carbonated waters substances productions with a pronounced fragrance to co coconut Compet uh, competence an essential factor so that exists a competence is a shortage or limitation of some essential elements mainly a direct competence by a, the space is produced and the nutrients between the microorganisms get ant antagonists and the pathogens in some cases trichoderma acts on some pathogens due to its capacity to colonize quickly the substrate the zone colonized by trichoderma will be able to occupied by no pathogens resistance induced when trichoderma enters contact with the active plant its a system of defense fundamentally by induction of its enzymatic system oxidative preparing to the plant set against the possible attack of pathogens the mechanisms of action previously exposed are not exclusive but they act of form synergistic synergic in the control of pathogens the relative importance of each one of them depends on the antagonist pathogenic system that is being studied since not all the stems of the trichoderma present the same antagonist capacity set against a specific pathogen for which at a moment of uh, to create a biotech product from trichoderma species should be known set against that the pathogenic or group of pathogens wants to be utilized choosing those applications this uh, fungal biopesticides are used in collar rot caused by pellicularia rolsi Ro uh, root rot caused by pellicularis filamentosa dry rot caused by macrophomina faceoli loose mud caused by ustilago sejitum very uh, pathovarity treaty side 
Kernel burnt disease, charcoal rot caused by macrophomia fumina fasciolae, black surf caused by rhizoctonia solanae, seedling blight caused by pythium, damping off caused by pythium and phytophthora. Foot rots, foot rots of a pepper and beetle vine. Capsule rot of several crops. If it, the uh, the fungal pathogens, fungal pesticides also effective against a silver leaf on plum, peach, and nectarine. Dutch elm disease on elms honey fungus. That is Armillaria melia on a range of tree species. Botrytis caused by Botrytis cinerea are also affected by the trichoderma viridae and uh, also effective against rots on a wide range of crops caused by fusarium, rhizoctonia, pythium and sclerotium forming pathogens such as uh, sclerotinia and sclerotium. And uh, these are the various commercial formations of trichoderma species available in India against uh, okay various an uh, antagonists okay uh, the various uh, forms of uh, trichoderma species these are the target pathogens and these are the target crop and these are the sources and uh, for recommend the recommended crops for the bio uh, fung fungal bio pesticides that is a trichoderma viridae is used in protecting the crops such as cauliflower, cotton, tobacco, soybean, sugarcane, sugar beet, eggplant, red gram, bengal gram, banana, tomato, chilies, potato, citrus, onion, groundnut, peas, sunflower, brinjal, coffee, tea, ginger, turmeric, pepper, beet wine and cardamom. And precautions do not use the chemical pesticides after application of Trichoderma viridae for four to five days. Reason is uh, the chemicals may damage the trichoderma viridae. And this is the trichoderma viridae in colony. In this plate, you are viewing the effect of biocontrol agent, namely trichoderma viridae, which is an antagonistic fungi against common soil pathogen Fusarium, which can cause root rot and built in plants. With this method, you can control the plant disease with, without any chemical fungicides so that the dangerous and the life-threatening disease like a cancer in human being can be eliminated. These are various soil-borne plant pathogens are controlled by Trichoderma viridae. Okay. I think that though the letter size are very small, I think hope you can able to uh, get it uh, through the organizers. Okay. The percent yield uh, increase of various crops by the application of trichoderma species. Okay, various crop plants are uh, making use of this uh, um, fungal biopesticides, which increases the agricultural yield. Okay, so I'd like to thank the organists for the given me the opportunity. Thank you for patient listening.